everybody's keen on in on the uh, finals being a huge mismatch. They're like, um, would it be a huge upset if the Cavs beat the Warriors? Of course it would be. Just like it was an upset in 2016 when it happened. So that goes without saying. The only th issue I take is like, everybody's making a big fuss about how lopsided it is and stuff. It's been lopsided since... 2016, I'll say 2015, it was more even until everybody got hurt. But since 2016, Golden State Warriors have elevated their play. And even in 2015, they found a way to elevate their play with Andre Iguodala. We look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, LeBron James has elevated his play. But everybody else, same thing, same stuff. And I know you guys might be wondering what's wrong with my lip. I busted it playing basketball. But that being said, nobody has elevated their play on that team except for LeBron James. So, of course, it's going to be a mismatch. They made a trade to guys there, Thomas J. Crowder. I feel like if they would have had that team playing against the Warriors, they would be better equipped. Now they got rid of those two guys. You know, Isaiah Thomas had the surgery, went to LA or whatever. J. Crowder went to Utah. J. Crowder has solid minutes playing in Utah. Uh, J Derrick Rose has solid minutes playing in Minnesota. All those guys are gone because LeBron James wanted younger guys. Now you got younger guys, and now it's even worse because they don't have the playoff experience. So now people are like, well, is this right that it's so lopsided or whatever? Of course, of course it's right. Damn right it's right. It shouldn't be any other way because LeBron James and Kevin Love are the only guys that I really tried to show up for the team. Jarrod Smith has been a no-show. Tristan Thompson can't score. Kyle Korver is iffy. I mean, of course it's, a, it's a lopsided, and it's, and it's right to be that way. You know, the fact that it's so heavily lopsided, I don't, I disagree with because I feel like a team that gets to the finals is a pretty solid team. But we shouldn't be surprised that what Golden State showed you in the finals last year, if they consistently be able to play that way and be healthy, that's what we're going to see every single year until they're, they, they get eliminated. That's what we're going to see every single year. This is nothing new, guys. This is nothing to be surprised about, nothing to be shocked about. There was a, a big fuss about Kevin Durant making statements talking about he just he can't put himself in LeBron's shoes. He just does what he does. People are saying that, oh, he doesn't want to be the best in the world. Hey, last time I checked, when you want to be the best at something, you don't talk about it. You just do it. In the finals, he showed you he wanted to be the best player on the court, averaging about 35, 50% shooting, 40% from three, 90% from the, from the free throw line. He showed you what, what his best was about. He wasn't talking about it. So when people are saying that he doesn't have that killer instinct or he can't carry a team and this, that, and the third, guys, it's not about that. It's all about being a performer. All that carrying the team stuff, all that stuff is dead now. These guys been teaming up. LeBron been teamed up in Miami. The Celtics been teamed up in 08. Last, nobody's talking about carrying a team. Last person to really carry a team besides LeBron James in this aspect and in 07 is Allen Iverson. And you saw how that ended up. They lost in five. So nobody cares about carrying the team anymore, guys. It's all about winning and doing what you what you got to do to make your team win all of this talk about he wants to be the man he doesn't want to be the man come on man cut all that out man because last in the finals y'all y'all wasn't saying that now were you but back to the topic at hand for the Cavs like I said I predicted them to go down in six if I picked the Warriors in six I might be too generous but I do believe that the you get to the finals for a reason and the Cavs are there for a reason. Thus, they can play and they can hang somewhat until they can't. And so, we, but these guys are overreacting to the Vegas odds and this, that, and the third. And would it be an upset the Cavs were able to win one game? I mean, if they're in the finals. They're a team. Teams can win a game. It's, it's not crazy or whatever. So, we'll see how it plays out. Not looking good for the Cavs, but... Oh, well, it's whatever. Kevin Love, our concussion protocol. Andre Gudala is um, also, he's still on, you know, he's in, in doubt. So, for game one, at least, maybe game two. So, we'll see. He might not even play the rest of the playoffs, honestly speaking, the way that it's looking for them. So, we'll see how it goes.